Hi friends, I hope you're having a lovely day today. Uh, I hope that you have, uh, that all your pictures on your wall are straight. <laughs> Cause you know what they say, they're a straight picture is um, a straight person. Um, you know what I need more of in my life? I need more smoothies. I was thinking about this. I like I smoothies are just a good thing, but they also represent how much work it is to stay to be healthy, but how rewarding it is to be healthy. And what I mean by this is, uh, so you have to find the ingredients for a smoothie which is hard. You have to find all your ingredients. This is if you're making it. Um, we'll get to if you're buying it in a second. You have to find all your ingredients. Then you have to, you have to buy this machine. Um, some sort of fruit filleting ninja uh, samurai monkey machine. That's what it would be called. And then you have to put the fruits in there and blend them up and get them to the proper consistency. And then you have a smoothie. Um, that's probably going to be, what, like 16 ounces of smoothie, right? That's that's for one day. You have to do that every day. Or um, you go to uh, you go to some smoothie place. You get your smoothie at some place. And um, in America, you can't, you can't, and I dare you to try, go get a smoothie for under $30. Just try. Um, won't happen. Um, so... Anyway, we're here. I'm going to edit another photo in Lightroom today, um, and I'm excited about this, and I hope that I can bring you some value. This is a street portrait I got a while back, um, and let's jump right in, shall we? Okay, so we are here in Lightroom now. Um, as you can see today, we uh, have a lovely photo of some shoes. I think um, the, a huge aspect of what we're focusing on here is the fact that the shoes are the subject of this. These other things I think kind of complement, um, and I think that all, all the colors kind of lead to the, you know, there's uh, this, this red's kind of a warmer tone, kind of goes with the sidewalk, which is a warmer tone. Um, and uh, and then some blues up top. I love having I love having you know this this kind of beautiful cross section of warmness and coolness and how they contrast with each other. I like that balance. I, they tend it tends to kind of even unintentionally make its way into my photos uh, a lot. So anyway, um, so uh, the main focus is kind of these shoes here, and um, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna kind of edit with that in mind. Um, the first thing I, n the first thing I noticed about the way I originally edited this, because this is a photo I have posted already. We're just kind of starting over the process and seeing where we go with it, as always. Uh, the first thing I noticed was that um, I, w I cropped very, I, I cropped this this light out and I kind of came up with like a more 16 by nine interesting framing. This time though, because I'm crazy, I'm gonna actually crop in a little tighter. I think. I like that. I don't think I cropped in this tight last time, but ooh, we're going even tighter. Put it right in that center third. Yeah. I'm all right with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at it. Okay, we're going to drop that down. That feels okay, maybe. Uh, center a little bit more. A uh, uh, little lower. Okay. Oh, no, no, a little higher. Probably back to where we were. <laughs> see, I don't like how close her feet are to the... Th all right, all right. Let's see. All right. Um, maybe here? Maybe? Okay, I feel good about that. I think that's all right. I don't know. That's tough. Welcome to James Crops the Photo for 15 minutes. Hmm. Let's try this. This is, this is free form. We just gotta go with this. We gotta just make this. We're, we're just going for it. It's very Bob Ross. Um. <laughs> Perfect. I like it. <laughs> Probably back to exactly where we were in the beginning. Okay. So I'm gonna hit my preset, uh, Milky here. You know, thinking back, I think in the last videos I actually started from scratch. Didn't even use the preset. 
Um, and you know what? That's what I'm gonna use. that's what I'm gonna do today. Oh crap! We're gonna let's go back before not before the crop. I don't want to do that crap again. We're just gonna freeform it. No presets. Let's do this. All right. Uh, so first things first. I'm the realist. I'm I'm a realtor. That's what I think that song should have said. First things first. I'm a realtor. I have great um, I have great customer service when if you're buying a house. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna turn this on profile correction. See if that does anything. I do like how it kind of um, brightens up the edges a little more. Gets rid of some of that natural vignetting that happens with uh with my 50 millimeter. It was a 50. Yeah, that was a 50. Um, I like that. Okay, so now we're going to I think drop the exposure just a little bit. Um, just just kind of get let the shadows kind of pronounce themselves a little bit more. And then we're gonna go into curves. I do all my work in the curves. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna go up here. I'm not sure exactly where we're gonna go with this, as per usual. All right, let's see here. Okay, that looks pretty nice. A little subtle in the in the in the curves. A little more subtle than my curves normally end up being. Um, I already have some grain here. I, I whipped right past that. I'm sorry. That so I added some grain. Um, I I. When I do this, I, I'm very, um, very uh, number oriented with a lot of, of things. Not because I, I'm a very free form kind of person, but once I get something I like, I tend to just that's how I kind of, I, I uh, that's how I, I, I kind of repeat that process over and over and change it if necessary. Um, so I put the uh, I put the amount of grain on twenty, and then I put the size on. 50 didn't move the roughness at all, um, which it stays on 50. So um, I feel good about this. Uh, I do want to play with the white balance. Just do a little bit of white balance stuff here. Maybe green, make things feel a little more green. I think it may have been a warm day. I forget. Regardless, we're going to go, let's go about there. I like that you can actually see, and I, I, I never noticed this until now, you can actually see some of the dirt on the shoes. Um, which is not something I necessarily want to get rid of. I, th I, I think that actually adds a little bit to the character of what the shoes are about. Um, you know, they're like, what, what has she been doing? Has she been playing baseball in these shoes? These are the questions of our lives. Um, okay, so I'm going to drop this down to about 31. That's where I like to hang out, if you've seen any of these things. Um very good. Oh, contrast a little bit. I, I, I'm very, sometimes I, I'll mess with the contrast. Sometimes I won't because I do so much in the curves, but uh, I'm, uh, we're going to have a little contrast today, I think. Okay, and then it's going to feel a little more green. And since I took some of the color out, I'm using the white balance to kind of almost sort of paint some of the color, so, some some tonage and colorage in, if that makes sense. Um and uh, but uh, obviously very subtle effect, right? But I think when this when the saturation was all the way back up, it it was it was almost too much. But I think once you pull it down, it kind of gives it a nice vibe. Um, I'm gonna play with the curves a little more. I want to crush the highlights just a little bit more. Um, something like that. Obviously, as always, going for a bit of a filmic look, cause that's who I be, yo. Okay, uh, I'm going to leave the highlights where they are. I'm going to leave that where it is. Hmm. This might be a simple edit today, guys. going to be real with you. And that's okay, because simplicity is, is, you know, it's, um, as Aeropostle says, it's, it's good, you know. It's like, it's good. Um. I I feel pretty good about what's going on here. I'm 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 the the shoes because of the light especially actually have emphasized themselves quite a bit. So I don't really have to worry about that too much. It kind of tends to feel pretty okay right from the beginning. Um uh, I can punch out the highlights. I don't mind that. That gives it a nice vibe. Maybe should we warm it up? Uh, 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 maybe right, no, I don't know, I kind of like it warm, kind of like it warm, 
Uh, split toning? See, we could go super hardcore, awesome tonage and do something like that. But I'm going to I'm going to hang back right there. What can we do with the blues and the shadows? What if that's a fun thing we can do? Now I'm going to pull the balance over. I find that it gives it a nice um gives it a nice look when you pull. So I think what I'm doing here is what am I doing? I'm I'm adding I'm making it where the shadows it only affects the darker parts of um, the shadows. The balance leans more towards this direction, right? So when we pull this up, see how we're, we're getting, we go back and forth, we're getting more blue because um, the shadows, uh, the shadow toning is kind of taking over more, get more um, yellow because the, the highlight toning is taking over a little more. So we're gonna pull that down. We're gonna pull this about to here because I don't wanna, I don't wanna drown it out too much, the shadow tones. Um, uh, very, oh. Don't want it back here. I like it really with it off, to be honest. I don't mind. Uh, that feels good. Man, I love it when I when you know it's a pretty simple edit. The lighting was quite nice that day. Play with the highlights, bring them back down a little bit. Sometimes I'll come back to it. I like it with the highlights. Okay, plus eleven, plus twelve. Boom, we did it. I'm feeling good about this. Uh, I think we got a nice photo. I think it's I think it's worthy of posting. Um, beautiful shoes. I love these freaking, I love these things right here. Uh, like so, such an interesting addition to, uh, to, a a semi high top shoe. So very cool. Boom. Okay. That's it friends. I hope that was valuable to you today. I hope you felt inspired. Um, and if also, if you, if smoothie, if you have any smoothie tips, uh, send them over. And uh, as always, if I can scratch your itch better, um, with how I make these videos. If there was anything in specific that you wanted me to kind of dig into more, um, anything, I'm trying to guide, I'm trying to, to refine my focus with this. And the best way to do that is to figure out what you guys are dealing with as um, photographers and as street photographers. So anyway, have a lovely day. Goodbye.